All right, so let's move back to um, the hospital. Talk to Thane. Oh, actually, I think we missed something uh, over there. There were stairs leading up. Yeah, let's go check that out. Alright, so where are we exactly? Uh, yeah, CSEC outpost. Okay. Yeah, we can't do much here. Uh, nothing going on there. Man, you look horrible. <laughs> I'm willing to bet you look worse than I do. Yeah, well, did you hear about the chemical fire and those kids from level E24 that they brought in last night? Yeah, I was there when they brought them in. Shit, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. Look, if you need anything... I don't want to talk about it. Alright, so it seems that unfortunately there was some sort of chemical fire uh, in the E24, uh, which I think was converted into a refugee camp temper uh, for the time being. Uh, and it seems that there was some sort of fire there and uh, some kids were hurt. Okay, so is he Rube Elkos? Not sure. But I'm surprised that she's surprised that this Volus here is thinking about profits <laughs> all the time. Pretty sure that's all they do. <laughs> Alright, so let's go talk to Thane. Um, he's probably in the hospital. Uh, he did mention to us that uh, he was dying in Mass Effect 2. Uh, so let's see, you know, if there's any good news on that front. One moment, please. He did say that there was nothing we could do about it, but uh, who knows. All right. Yeah, there's Thane over there. It's good to see him again. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of That's course, good. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend who got hurt protecting me. Ashley. The dark-haired human woman in intensive care. She will be starting physical therapy with my class soon. That's her. If she means something to you, then I will help how I can. As long as she is here, consider her under my protection. That's good to I hear. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I'm back in the Normandy on an important mission. Sure could use you. I would not be as I was before. I need daily medical attention. 
And if I know you, you will want to fight the Reapers somehow. You need the best at your side, and I am not at mine. I'm sure you can still help. You don't have to wrestle down Krogan and break their necks. I'm sure we could find you lighter work. I am at peace with what I've done in my life, Shepard. There comes a time when one must rest from war and conflict. It is not your time. He has a point. But it is mine. Do you know how much time you have left? I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. <laughs> it's freeing to find no requirements placed on me. No responsibilities. No fears. It is a good end to a life. Are you in a lot of pain? At times. The oxygen transfer proteins don't form correctly. Your human equivalent would be hemoglobin. As a result, my blood is low in oxygen. No matter how much I breathe in, I get tingling, numbness. And that is the best of it. As for my brain, I cannot track the damage. I just experience dizziness from time to time. Interesting. Um, so he is suffering a little. Uh, I don't think we can say that he's completely, uh, you know, not suffering. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really give us an option to talk about his son. But um, I wonder if, you know, if they're keeping in touch. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps okay, that's we'll keep good. up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. So that's kind of sad that, you know, he's... <clears throat> he's kind of um, accepted that he's dying soon. Um, and he's content with it. But uh, it's kind of sad to see him go. Uh, I was hoping that he'd come uh, on our mission. It doesn't look like it. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're good here. Let's uh, go back to the Normandy. Okay. So we're here uh, at the Normandy's docking bay. Um, so let's look up our missions. Uh, we have a bunch. Uh, I think we should try uh, knocking off some of these before we do the main one, which is priority here uh, for the War Summit. So... Can we can help out Arya? We can. Uh, uh, okay, so let's read this. A Salarian on the Citadel needs new heating unit stabilizers. Find them and bring them to him in the Presidium Commons. Okay, we can do that. Apian Crest, Banner of the First Regi Regiment. A Turian officer needs the Banner of the First Regiment to inspire his troops. Recover it from Castellus, the Apian Crest, and deliver it to him at Purgatory on the Citadel. Okay, so these are Arya's uh, missions over here uh, with the Eclipse. So Arya Talok has requested assistance uniting mercenary bands under her control. Speak to com uh, Commander Bailey's assistant at the Presidium Common CSEC station and gain the allegiance of the Eclipse band. Okay, so this is uh, Blue Suns. <clears throat> so uh, Blue Suns, we have Blood Pack. Improve the power grid. Kite's nest. A Batarian refugee needs the pillars of strength to improve his people's morale. Find the pillars in the kite's nest and return them to him at the Citadel refugee camp. Okay. Uh, this is Barlavon. Barlavon has provided the location of a, sh 
of Shadow Broker forces trapped in the Dr Drainic system inside the Krogan DMZ, recruit them to the war effort, and return to Barlavon. Okay, and then Irun, Book of Plenix. A Volus on the Citadel needs the Book of Plenix to inspire his people, recover it from Irun, and return it to him in the Presidium Commons. Uh, and then we got the Citadel Hanar Diplomat. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and do... Let's do this one here, the Cerberus Lab. Uh, we got this early on from Hackett. And um, find out what's going on with Cerberus. Because uh, uh, we haven't... We don't exactly know what they're up to. And this may shed some light on that. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm not sure if we can select it. I don't think so. Alright, let's go back to our uh, galaxy map. So that we can see uh, where each mission is. Uh, all right, so we're back. Uh, let's see if we have any messages. Nope. All right, let's check out the galaxy map. Let's leave orbit. Mass Effect Relay. All right, so meet with diplomats. Rescue the students. The Ismar Frontier, we do have a mission going there, I think. Uh, the Shrike Abyssal, uh, I think the Volus Diplomat wants us to get some sort of obelisk from here. Uh, Minos Wasteland, that doesn't ring any bells. Apian Crest, yeah, this um, we're supposed to do something here. Exodus Cluster, Kite's Nest. Yeah, we're supposed to do something here. Hades, Gamma, doesn't ring any bells. All right, let's head over to the Cerberus lab. Alright, let's, uh, let's head out here. Alright, we are going to Sanctum. Okay, so travel advisory, carbon dioxide levels on Sanctum can reach 5,000 parts per million during thermal inversions. Travelers should carry a breath mask at all times and consult the Sanctum World Weather Service for warnings. Uh, piracy is at a 14 year global high. Okay. Alright, let's land. Looks like this is a good uh, spot for Cerberus to um, establish a lab. Extreme weather, um, high piracy. That's where you'd find Cerberus. <laughs> Alright, so we have a couple of people here. Uh, kind of like this. ED. Okay, we're definitely gonna get Garrus and Edie. We haven't uh, had them on our squad yet.
Uh, okay, so we have something new over here. Oh, we can go ahead and modify things right away. So let's do that. Um, okay, we're good there. Why is it saying new? So the Mantis does m much more damage. But the Viper... The Viper also has a lower fire rate. You know, let's do the... Uh, Or no, the Mantis has a lower fire rate. Uh, the Viper is basically a better all around, but this has a uh, higher damage. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the, um, you know, let's just keep the Viper. Yeah, we'll keep the Viper for now. Uh, modify this. Uh, increased damage by 15%. Yeah, we uh, bought that. Yeah, we'll keep the Vindicator here. Uh, we'll modify this. I think we have all mods on it already. We'll modify this. Reduces weapon weight by 50%. Okay. Increases damage by 15 and every round has a 25% ch chance of not using up the thermal clip. Okay. Um, I think we're going to take that. Uh, and we're going to also take uh, the increased damage. And we'll just deal with the increased weight. Alright, I think we're good. Let's check out um, Edie's and uh, Garrus's loadout. Let's go ahead and give him the Vindicator. Let's modify that. Yeah, let's give him the Mantis. Alright, I think we're good there. And ED. Uh, let's go ahead and put the mods on. Let's give her uh, this and give her the increased uh, damage. Alright, and we're good. Let's go ahead and max out our fitness. So, increases health and shield. Increases melee damage. Uh, increases power damage. For 20 seconds only though, after or and after an enemy is killed by heavy melee. So, I mean, we generally don't want to be in a situation where we need to be doing heavy melee. So let's go ahead and just increase our health and shields. Okay. Uh, biotic mastery, cluster grenade. Cluster grenade was, um, I think that's pretty helpful. Let's find out what the next level here is. Increase impact radius or increase damage. Okay. Singularity is good. Uh, inflict 27 damage per second to lifted targets or increase recharge speed. Uh, let's go ahead and do 27 damage per uh, second to lift targets. Yeah, because we use Singularity uh, often. Okay, so Edie here. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do her Unshackled AI. Increase health, shield bonus, great. Um, increases health and shield bonus by 20%. Okay, let's check out everything else. Distract opponents with this decoy. Okay, defense matrix. Reinforce armor with protective uh, Foucault currents. Purge the currents to restore shields. 
slow down uh, power use okay overload is good uh, against shields so we'll definitely take this uh, okay so burn your opponents and uh, incinerate their armor yeah we'll take this Uh, defense matrix reinforce armor so I didn't really understand what this does reinforce armor with protective food cult currents okay purge the currents to restore shields okay so this puts up her shields I guess so let's just go ahead and take some and yeah let's take increase shields by 40% yeah, so this is this can definitely come in handy. So let's yeah, let's take this to rank three. And we'll go ahead and save the rest for now. Uh yeah, let's um let's rank up his Turian Rebel. And what we have increased health and shields or increased weapon damage let's go ahead and increase his weapon damage increase assault rifle damage by 50 or increase power damage by 20 alright we'll come back to that one proximity mine fire the sticky mine into traffic it will detonate when an enemy steps within range alright that's definitely useful yeah we'll go ahead and take this to rank 3 armor piercing ammo yeah we're gonna go ahead and uh, take some of this increase health and armor by six percent or squad mates gain your ammo power at 50 percent effectiveness yeah let's go ahead and give this to everyone headshot uh, damage by 25 increase ammo capacity by 30 all right let's leave that for now overload is good And yeah, we'll take some of this concussive so shot. Alright, I think we're good.